Good morning everyone, welcome to another gig log. If you can't tell, I'm pretty tired. It's very early in the morning, it's 8, 8 o'clock in the morning I think. Well, I guess it's not early for some people. It's early for me, because I was up prepping music and stuff, which I should have done early in the week, but yeah, that besides. We're doing a wedding today and we're also setting up a lighting only event for some up lighting, monogram, bot lighting, and a ceiling wash, so we're doing that today. But, as always, new gear, Updates for you guys. The Pro X dual mover cases finally came in. So we have two ADJ InnoSpot Pros in each of these, and then we have four in the big case. We have 100 feet of these like twinkle curtain lights that are gonna go on the pipe and drape that we're doing today at the wedding. If you guys didn't see in the recent videos, we have a second DVX driver PA2 up here. We have this one and then we have the one in my SZ case. One of the most exciting things that I got, I have the Sennheiser X wireless digital XLR set. So I unfortunately am not gonna be the one using them today, but Kaylin is gonna be using these and trying these out to see if they're any better than the piece of crap Alto Stealth system. I'm pretty sure that's it. I might be missing something, but anyways, let's get, let's get on the road. We all hooked up. We got all the gear. Let's get on the road. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Biscuit Bill, baby. First stop of the day, we're at Village in Event Center, and we're gonna be setting up all of the lighting for the lighting event, and then we're gonna be heading out to the airport set up for the wedding. Specs 2s, 15 up lights, monogram projector, base plates, and cable galore. Oh, and pin spots. What's up, what's up? We got the lighting completed. Sorry, guys, we didn't film anything. We're kind of trying to hustle because we got to go set up 100 feet of pipe and drape. Well, actually, like 60 to 80. It just sounds better to say 100. So, let me walk you through all of the lighting. We have 16 up lights in amber, and then we have four Wash FX 2s doing amber wash on the ceiling. We also have a projector that's doing a monogram on the dance floor. It's off right now. It looks really cool. We already tested it out. And then we have four pin spots in a variety of locations to hit the cake table and to hit where they're going to be doing their ceremony. So kind of cool. We were able to mount the Wash FX 2s. This is actually an O-clamp. It was able to clamp onto here, and then we just used some gaff tape just for extra precaution. Running the gravity stand with the new Epson projector. This is the 2250U and just running a flash drive into it with a monogram file. Shining down, it's actually inverted. Looks cool. More up lighting around this side. Two more Wash FX 2s. But yes, yes, that wraps up the first of two events. Uh, it actually works out perfectly. Our wedding is gonna end at nine o'clock. That's when the venue is kicking everyone out, basically. So this wedding ends at like 11.30. It's like 15, 20 minutes away from the airport wedding that we're gonna be at. So we'll be able to pick it up right on the way back. Logistics work out perfectly. You just get lucky sometimes. Excuse me, sir. I'm here to pick up some gear. You, sir, you, you got the gear? You bring gear here. And we load gear in my trailer. Understand? Off to stop number two. We're gonna grab lunch on the way there and then we're gonna go set it up. Let's get going. Secure the bag right there. Tons of sandwiches, but if you guys don't know, I said this in a previous gig log. The secret to getting your Chick-fil-A quick is to not wait in that long drive through line. Just walk in. Literally, we had our food before we paid. Well, like as, like literally, I was pulling my credit card out and the dude's like, Rick? I'm like, and then there's like 20 cars deep in line, yeah. Walk inside, get your Chick-fil-A. Anyways. Back to the travels. Welcome to the, the airport. So um, we're inside a hangar. We got all the stuff in the trailer. We're just gonna roll on in. We're gonna be setting up over here. We're gonna do on pipe and drape along the back wall. All right, all of the twinkle drape is set up behind me, all there. Now we're gonna move on to doing the reception setup behind me right here in the corner. What's up guys, all suited up radio from rock and roll for this wedding this evening out at airport. This is Sugar Sugar Creek Airport. It's gonna be dope, it's gonna be awesome. The twinkle drape looks awesome. You guys probably seen that in the videos. I'm gonna show you guys the ceremony setup and then we'll show you the reception one later on. Also, this is like communication between me, the coordinator and the photographer and all that. They wanted to use radios, so we're using radios. So this is the kind of the behind setup here. You got the lake over there, which is kind of marshy. You get the airport runway right in front of us. 
So right here, we're running completely off battery because there's no electricity. The nearest electricity is inside of there. This is going to be shut completely so you can't get electric. So we got my HP Spectre X13 running Virtual DJ completely on its own battery power. We got the Yamaha MG06X. This one has the effects. It, I just need to buy one. Um, we have the Colorado Sound and Lighting uh, battery pack that's powering both our Yamaha mixer and our two uh, Audio-Technica mics. You just plug them in, hook them up, and it powers all of them. This battery will last you plenty for a whole entire wedding ceremony and cocktail. It's got tons of juice. So you have the Furman strip up here that's not being used. That'll be used when we go inside reception time to plug in these. Um, so these are off right now to conserve battery power, but I can just turn them on like that. And uh, there we go, we're on. We got the shelf that has the handles and everything underneath there. And then we have the LD Systems Maui 5 Go running completely off battery power as always. We're inside the reception area with this uh, big dope plane right here. So let me walk you through what all we're rocking for the reception setup. It's pretty dope and the twinkle drape looks awesome. We have 60 feet of twinkle drape and that is nine and a half feet up. So this is the 12 foot high pipe and drape, the variable height pipe and drape that I have from Georgia Expo. Um, I'll show you guys the back, but uh, this is variable pipe so the pipes can go in variable heights. And we have this uh, twinkle effect. These can actually do functions and stuff, but they want it steady on and I think it looks a lot better with steady on. It's running all the way across, hiding all of these stuff behind and really helps make this space look amazing. So this kind of shows you that this drapery is 12 foot high drape. You got the leftover drape laying here behind. I just find it easier. Honestly, I bought 12 foot high drapery so that I can do 12 feet or I can lower it down and do less. So that's what we're rocking. I don't think there's a difference. You guys can comment down below, but this is what I was saying. The, these poles from Georgia Expo are variable height. There's just a slip collar in there and you can slide them up and slide them down to whatever height you would like. And there's also measurement indicators that tell you how high up the pole is. Also wanted to point out, as you can see up there, there is a black wire running across. So that is a steel black wire. And since we use the castle top attachments to put our pipe and drape all the way at the very top of the poles, I highly recommend you guys get castle tops. If you don't know what those are, Google it. But through the slot, we ran the wire. And basically what we did was we intertwined the twinkle lights to attach them to that wire across the top. Now this is my first time doing twinkle drape like this, so if you guys have a better solution to how to run this, um, let me know down in the comments section down below how you guys run twinkle drape. Also, the twinkle drape is kind of cool because you can link these together, so you can link up the three together, so that way we only have to plug in, I think, four adapters, no, two, three adapters total to run the whole entire 60 feet in twinkle drape. As you guys can see, it is absolutely sick. We got the sweethearts table right here. We have the awesome cupcakes. Check out this awesome, like plain, just married. That is so dope. You got the groom's cake here. It's just, just awesome. But the plane, they said, they said um, that we can't touch the propeller cause it might actually start the propeller and it would take off and flow. Uh, throw crap everywhere. I think we should do it as like a send off or something to be kind of cool. But over here in the corner is where the reception main setup is. First off, we have the ADJ event table one, not two. We have our Rockville air assist stands with the white scrims today because we have a white backdrop so it looks a lot cleaner to run white. It blends in a lot nicer. We also have an ADJ event facade back there in white to kind of hide all of the vendor bags. Speakers are JBL PRX 712s on both of those and one JBL 715 XLF The reason why we're not running two subs like I would like to is the groom is actually very sensitive to bass. So I'm only running one sub and I got it on an independent channel off the drive rack PA2 so that I can adjust that low if it's too much for him so that way he is comfortable. Back behind the rig, we got the DDJ SZ as always, the V-Moto headphones, HP Spectre 15 laptop running Serato DJ Pro. There's the drive rack PA2 I mentioned earlier and we have Shabba Show Express here with the donor wireless DMX. Obviously that laptop is being used in our ceremony setup right now. We have our nice cushy mat, so our feet are nice and supported throughout the evening. Back here, like I said, is where we're hiding all the bags, both ours and the photographer and the videographer. It's a really good idea, guys, if you have the ability to bring an extra facade. Vendors really like it if you have somewhere for them to put their bags. ADJ Mega Hex Par, one there, one underneath each one of the scrims. And then we got two Shave Wash FX2s. We got one here and it is not there. It's over here on a gravity stand.
So right here is the other Chave Wash FX2 on a gravity stand so it's nice and clean, no big bulky tripod of any sort. It is pointing up at the ceiling right there and plugged in right there to the power. I will get you guys some video when we hook up the DMX to show you guys they're going for like a red, white, and blue theme. So I'll get you guys some video of that. So we're all set, we're ready to go, and let's rock this wedding. It's, it's over tearing down tearing down tearing down haven't even started on it yet But we're tearing down we're tearing down and uh, then we got to go tear down the second event It's gonna be fun awesome crazy all that fun stuff So stay tuned that is a wrap on stop number one tear down number one awesome wedding moving on to go check out What the lighting gig was like stop number two lighting all picked up. We're good to go We're gonna get on the road. We have about a 50 minute trip back to Greensboro and then we go into bed I will wrap up this video at some other point, but uh, what, well, actually, no, I'm, I'm just gonna wrap it up right here. Wedding, super fun, really interesting and neat in the fact that there was air, there was literally airplanes landing and taking off. It was dope, it was awesome. A bride and groom, like literally one of the coolest uh, couples I've ever DJed for. So much fun, small crowd, but like they partied, they had fun, no alcohol too. So that was, that was actually even crazier. That was no alcohol. Awesome, amazing weekend. I don't know about Kaylin's wedding, but I'm assuming it ended up being awesome too. I killed it. That's all guys, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that bell, 
And like always, guys, keep them records spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Instagram, social media, peace.